Hey, welcome to MCOM Solutions. Jake here. Big updates from Nestastic, their latest firmware 2.6.11 and an application update, whether you're using Android or Apple. These are really key and I think you really need to update your devices. And hey, if you're just talking to a few people and you that's all you want to talk to, then sure, whatever, and that's working for you. Stay with what you got. Stay with what with, with, uh, works for you. But many times on my channel, my other social media accounts, and then other sources that I regularly participate in, I see people saying, hey, I can't find any users in my area. It doesn't seem like there's nobody in my area. We'll talk a little bit more of that towards the end because I know I found out a few things on my least recent travels. But let's talk about the firmware first. So what was the issue with older versions of the firmware? So they first pushed out the alpha and now the beta 2.6.10 and then 11 was the, now the stable beta version, the latest version as the time I'm recording this video. Hopefully it hasn't updated since by the time I release it. But in the older versions, the generated key, public and private keys may had insufficient entropy or randomness, right? So therefore was there was keys being reused across devices causing collisions and messages not going through and other problems. Now in the application, once you connect a new device to the application and it's a brand new device or it's been completely reset, the first thing it's going to tell you to do or make you do basically is set the region. Now, if you're unfamiliar with or you're new to Metastatic, Laura uses the ISM bands, the industrial, scientific, and medical bands that are their set frequencies depending on where you are on, on the, in the world. Uh, so when you set your region, you set the frequencies within the device to the correct region so that you therefore uh, are in compliance with your local laws. Now, once that's done, this, you know, if there is a duplication or a reused key detected, you'll get a notification in the application telling you, hey, generate a new key. Um, so that's pretty simple. I could show that in a future video in the application if you're new, it, but it's a fairly simple step to generate a new key. So the improvements here are to LoRa reliability with the new firmware is enhanced LoRa time slotting system, reducing network congestion and retransmission, ensuring reliable messaging, extending battery life for your needs, right? Which could be very important in uh, austere environments or emergency situations. Enhanced security uh, updates the updated to key generation delayed until region selected and uh, strengthens private private message security, critical for your secure messaging needs. Uh, there's some added in features for e-ink display support for different devices. There's a lot of new manufacturers kind of coming online with new um, devices. And of course the Mestastic team is uh, tirelessly working to try to incorporate these new features or these new devices that have some new features to them, uh, which is a very key thing. And then some improvements to the standalone Mestastic UI, which the MUI or Mestastic UI is what you use like on the popular LilyGo T-Deck, which really made the T-Deck an actual usable standalone device without happening to connect it to your phone or another, you know, device to be able to make changes to it. So it really did make the T-Deck a useful tool uh, and if you don't, if you want that additional security of not having it connected to a phone, the Lily Go T Deck is where where you might want to look. So that that's definitely awesome. And then for the app, like I said, it improved the interface. It notifies you if you have an older firmware. Basically, tells you you should update your dang firmware. Um, but that, and then you know, just made it a little more. I have noticed one seems a little bug with the the app where it occasionally like lags or locks up uh, i've noticed across two different phones um so i believe it's the app not the phones uh but time will tell on that if you've experienced that please put it in the comments down below that'd be helpful all right so let's jump to the finding other mesh testing users i did a, i've done some videos about this subject in the past you know recommending things like mesh sense and other things where they have mapping tools in them 
that kind of help you see other people in your area, then you maybe you can try to target your uh, or drive to that area and try to make connection. I know there's probably plenty of people out here that don't want to, don't really care. They, they have a group and they, that's who they talk to. That's something to note there, though. I've learned there's a lot of people because for United States, there is the frequency range for ISM is 902 to 928. And default and is 906.5, I believe. Um, and that, so these, some of these groups have created their own frequency slot or changed to manually change the frequency in their devices to something within that range. Um, so therefore, you're not going to be able to communicate with them if you're using 906 because they're using a different frequency. So where, how do you connect then if you, if that's what you're looking to do? And a lot of these groups do want to connect with new users in their area, um, but they want to get away from some of maybe some of the general congestion of just uh, random people just sending out messages. Uh, that is the tricky part or a little bit. Now, you could join my Telegram group, of course, the link down below. However, if you have users around the world in there, and there's only like 530 or something like that in there as of today, that's not very many when you consider the, how many Mestastic users there is around the world. So it's not really great for, and now there has been some people that have found, you know, people within their area and made connections offline or off Telegram uh, through that. Uh, I made connections with an Albanian that lives south of where I live in Albania. And we, when he's in my area, we have communicated on Mestastic and, of course, on Telegram, too, when he's outside. So that's cool. Um, and Albania, when I first got here, it seemed like a, a real blind, you know, just a dead spot for Mestastic users. And since I've lived here for a year and a half, now there's like three or four nodes within my local area, not to include the one guy that I talked to that's down in uh, southern Albania or further south than me. Uh, so it is possible to find people. Discord is a great place to find it. Now, sometimes these groups can be a little difficult to find. Um, but if you're in Washington State, I'm part of two now that thanks to one of my Telegram users. Um, that's also in Washington is cued me on and sent me invites to those groups. That's where I also learned that there's some people that use different uh, channels, uh, you know, use different frequencies. So really cool. While I was home, I saw I was up near the Canadian border. There is a very heavy use in Canada, at least the parts of Canada I could reach. Uh, one node was over 80 miles away. Um, now we're talking across you know, water uh, across the Salish Sea and the port or the uh, Strait of Wanafuka. Um, yeah, so definitely a lot of users, a lot of users in the Seattle area, not so many, you know, south of Seattle where I live. I live quite a bit further south of Seattle and south what's called Southwest Washington. So Discord is definitely a good place to look around. Um, so if you're really looking for other users, I recommend, you know, doing a little digging around online and try to find these groups because then you might find out maybe they have their own private channel set up or something like that because there, yeah, there's, there's a lot of changes out there. I'll do, be doing more in depth videos, but I am in the state of packing up here uh, in Albania. I'll be, by the time this video publishes, I'll probably be in the air flying back to the US for a while and then I'll be traveling back to Europe to a different country for a while where I'll be living for a couple years probably so more updates on that I appreciate everybody's support and if you have any questions comments of course put them down below if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel hit that like button at least uh, that at least lets me know that my content's reaching you I have a website social media accounts those are all linked down below of course some affiliate links all that good stuff. Stay tuned. There will be some uh, interruption. There already has been because I've been traveling a lot in the States for a couple of weeks, back here for a week, back to the States. So my normal uh, weekly content, may you may see some delays. So thanks again. Stay tuned.